Kumasi vs Accra, which city is better? Ready, fight! Ghana is a West African country located on the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean. It is well known for harboring the world's largest official lake, Omanme Reservoir by surface area, which measures 8,462 square kilometers. Accra, the country's capital and largest city, is located on the Atlantic coast and has a population of nearly 3 million people. Accra is the greater Accra region's economic and administrative center, as well as the city's financial and commercial sectors. And also, it serves as its main industrial activities, which include fishing and the production of plywood, textiles, clothing and chemicals. The city is also becoming more popular as a tourist destination because 2 million people are living in the city. You will experience the vibrant energy that it exudes. Accra has bustling markets as well as colonial era architecture. Kumasi, also known as Oisekram, was the former capital of Ghana during the reign of the Ashanti Kingdom and is the country's second largest city. Kumasi was founded around 1680 by Ose Tutu, the first king of the Ashanti Empire, and became the empire's capital city. Kumasi is said to have gotten its name from the Gum Tree Tutu, which sat under while negotiating land terms. Kumasi, with its bustling streets and sprawling markets, is a tourist dream. The location is well known for its gold jewelry, kente cloth, and wooden stools. Kumasi has a population of over 3 million people. It is known as the Garden City because of its many plant and flower species. It's located near Lake Botsumtwe, which is in the rainforest region and is about 250 kilometers from Accra. As a result of the abundant vegetation, the temperature is significantly lower than in Accra. In today's video, we will compare Accra and Kumasi cities to determine which of the two is superior. We will consider which is better in terms of population, accommodation, cost of living, education, job availability, healthcare system, ease of transportation, outstanding infrastructure to date, and culture amongst others. Afterwards, you decide which city is superior based on the clearly stated facts in the video. And there are interesting facts to be learned about Accra and Kumasi in Ghana. What you want and what you're looking for will determine how much better one city is over the other. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global PT is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Accommodation and cost of the living. Accra is 9% extra expensive than Kumasi in terms of living cost. It is estimated that you would need around 13,799.07 in Kumasi to maintain the same standard of living that you can have in Accra with 19,000. Accra is an expensive city to live in because it is the capital and the commercial center. In comparison, properties in Kumasi are less expensive than those in Accra. In Accra, a single room for rent can cost as little as 100 Ghana cities and as much as 1,000 Ghana cities. It all depends on where you want to live and your budget. Apartments and self-contained houses can cost up to 3,000 Ghana cities per month with a one or two years rent advance required. Accommodation in Kumasi is less expensive than in Accra. You can rent a room for 50 Ghana cities per month and even get a self-contained apartment for 300 Ghana cities per month. It all depends on where you end up living in Kumasi. It is uncommon to find rentals that are as expensive as the price is quoted. You should simply find a suitable location that meets your requirements, budget, comfort, proximity to your workplace and all that. Rent is generally less expensive in Kumasi than in Accra. A lot of things in Accra are overpriced. Kumasi is the better city to live in if you want to cut costs and eat on a budget. Population and surface area The Ashanti region's most populous district is Kumasi's metropolis. The city has a total area of 254 square kilometers and a population of 1.4 million. Accra's urban area covers 225.67 square kilometers of land and has a population of approximately 1.9 million, while the entire metropolis has grown to nearly 900 square kilometers. The population density in the metro area is approximately 1,300 people per square kilometer. The high population of younger residents is one of the most interesting aspects of Accra's demographics. Approximately 56% of the population is under the age of 24. 
This pattern is unlikely to change in the coming years. Given the city's importance within Ghana, it can only be assumed that Accra will continue to grow in the future. Finance and Commerce Accra serves as Ghana's economic, administrative and educational hub. Accra Central Business District was developed after World War II. Today, the city serves as a commercial and transportation hub in Ghana. The city's economy is based on the finance and commercial sectors, as well as industries such as processed food, textiles and lumber. Kumasi is a bustling commercial center with a diverse commercial market. The Kumasi Central Market, also known as the Kijeta Market, is an open-air market in Kumasi. The Kajeta market is West Africa's largest single market. The city is a major trade center and is involved in a variety of industries, including the processing of agricultural goods and timber, as well as the manufacture of consumer goods such as textiles and foodstuffs. Plantain, maize, cassava, cocoa, yam, vegetables, and other cereals and legumes are among the food supplies. Cocoa, oil, palm, tobacco, bast fiber, cotton, citrus, and cashew are amongst the industrial crops grown. The Ashanti region has many poultry industries, including Dako farms, Mfum farms, Asamwa Yamoa farms, Azari farms, and many others, as well as large poultry feed mills. The Ashanti region is the world's second largest yam producer, and the Ashanti region is the world's second largest producer. Possibilities for employment Accra is Ghana's most popular city, which means that there are numerous opportunities for employment and career advancement. If you are self-employed or run a business, you have a larger pool of customers to choose from. Quality of education system English is the official language and the language of business, and it is taught in all schools. Ghanaians also speak indigenous languages, and many are fluent in multiple local languages. Accra and Kumasi have the best universities in Ghana. Kumasi is home to several tertiary institutions, including the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, NUST, the country's second university, the largest in the Ashanti region, and the first in Ghana, followed by the University of Ghana. Kofi Annan, the former Secretary General of the United Nations, attended this institution. If you are considering which schools your children will attend when they reach school age, whether you want them to attend Legon or Knost, they can influence which of these two cities you choose to live in. Apart from the universities and educational opportunities that both cities provide, Accra has better secondary schools than Kumasi. Healthcare system. Accra and Kumasi both have the best two hospitals in Ghana. Accra's Kole Bu Hospital and Comfort Anoki Hospital. Comfort Anoki Teaching Hospital is Ghana's second largest hospital. It receives referrals and treats diseases from all over the country, particularly in the north. In Kumasi, there are also private facilities that treat a variety of diseases. However, Accra has more specialized hospitals than Kumasi. It also has the UGMC in Legon, which is a world-class hospital with cutting-edge technology. Accra leads by a score of 3 to 2, but it also comes down to the criteria. However, it is recommended that you develop your criteria and then score any two or more cities where you are considered relocating. Transportation Convenience Good transportation lines allow people to move from one location to another, which is something that most house hunters look for. The construction of the Accra Kumasi Railway, which connected Accra to other regions in Ghana, was a watershed moment for the city of Accra in 1908. The Kotoka International Airport in Accra, Ghana, is the country's premier international airport and can accommodate large planes like the Boeing 7478. Kumasi does not have an international airport. For all business activities in the Ashanti region, there is a good road transportation system that connects various locations to Kejetia, the center, transit buses, a mix of privately owned minibuses known as Tros Tros, taxi cabs and buses which provide public transportation in the city. Tro Tros are typically converted minibuses that run on established routes. Some taxis also run regular routes which cost more but provide a more comfortable ride. But Accra is near the ocean unlike Kumasi and this is a huge advantage in terms of ease of travel and job opportunities. Don't you agree? Outstanding Infrastructures Accra has become Ghana's most developed city due to the concentration of infrastructure development in the city. In recent years, there has been a variety and a surge of interest in infrastructures such as roads, energy systems, water pipes and communication channels as productive analytical sites for delving into the political and ecological interactions of human and non-human agents and institutions. Black Star Square, also known as the Independent Square in Accra, Ghana, is a public square. It is surrounded by the Accra Sports Stadium and the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. Accra's pride is Independent Square.
known for their own warm hospitality, and this quality can be found across all the country's ethnic groups. The National Museum of Ghana and the Ark of Independence and the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial are some of the points of cultural interest that can be found in Ghana. Kumasi is the most important city in the Asantema region, but it is also a large cosmopolitan city in the residents, hailing from all over Ghana and even from neighboring African nations. Rich culture and long-standing customs are two aspects of the Ashanti region that are certain to come up in any conversation about the region's unique characteristics. Many significant buildings and sites in and around Kumasi can be visited to gain a better understanding of the city's extensive history and cultural heritage. In 1980, UNESCO recognized the significance of the agricultural remains of historical Ashanti buildings. The seat of the King of Ashanti as well as the Golden Stool are kept in the Mehia Palace which can be found in the northern part of the city. It is a melting pot for people of all different ethnic groups and as a result some people speak a wide variety of languages, a wide variety of cuisines and a nightlife that is on par with any other in Accra. Accra is home to a large number of well-known tourist destinations such as the National Theatre and the Academy of Arts and Sciences. The 1990s saw the construction of several new buildings in the city, including a hotel with multiple floors, several restaurants and other establishments. An exceptional variety of options for rest and recreation round out its tourist offering. Komasi simply has a richer cultural heritage and a more engaging society than Cape Coast does, even though both cities offer a diverse range of cultural experiences and social activities. Climate both Accra and Komasi have a tropical wet and dry savanna climate with dry winters. Komasi also has a humid subtropical climate. Both locations are either entirely within or very close to the tropical dry forest biome. In Komasi, the annual average temperature is 0.9 degrees Celsius lower and the average monthly temperature variation is 1 degree Celsius less. Both of these locations have a continentality subtype that is hypoceanic in nature. The total annual precipitation amounts to an addition of 697 mm, which translates to an additional 697 liters per square meter, or 6,970,000 liters per hectare, approximately one eighth of the amount. In Komasi, residents experience 437 fewer hours of daylight each year, in any case, approximately 1 hour and 18 minutes less per day, or approximately half as many. Komasi has an overall lower sun altitude at midday than Accra does. We can conclude that Komasi is making a sincere effort to win the competition between Accra and Komasi. However, no matter how hard the Garden City tries, it will never be able to compete with the capital city.